Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Danica McKellar from the Matchmaker Mysteries, The Art of the Kill. What'd you base that on? 15 years of professional experience. She's always been very intuitive. I'm rarely wrong about these things. <laughs> so I want to ask you right off the bat, this is the third movie. So what's the mystery this time around? Or should I just say, why do people keep dying around Angie Dove? Well, right. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people remember uh, Murder, She Wrote. And I think the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries <laughs> movie franchises, we kind of are adopting that 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 uh, that same strategy where it's like, yeah, she's not actually a detective. And yet she keeps running into dead people. It's a lot of fun, you know, as far as death goes. Uh, and I, I just have a lot of fun doing it because I love a good mystery. You know, I love math. I mean, obviously, I write math books. And so I love puzzles right. and solving things. And so for me, getting to play both a matchmaker because of love and who doesn't love love, uh, who solves puzzles is sort of an ideal role. Okay, and what is the mystery this time around? I know we're kind of in the art gallery world. What happens? Yes, okay. So first of all, my dad um, in it, uh, Bruce Boxlander, he has a much bigger role this time. He was Tron, for those of you who know the name sounds familiar. <laughs> and he's great. And in this movie in particular, this is the third one, he has a much bigger role. So he is investigating some thefts that are happening at an art museum. And I go to meet him for lunch. And lo and behold, we come across a dead body. And it, the guy who died, he works at the museum. So the guy who dies is the one who does the providence for the statues at the museum. He's the one who says whether or not this is a legit, actual ancient Etruscan statue, or if it's a fake. And so he's the one who shows up dead which sort of makes you wonder, hmm, like, what's, there, is there more to the story? Um, and uh, I don't want to ruin it or tell you too much about it, but there's a lot of intrigue. There are some cookies potentially involved. You know, there's a lot of players. There's a lot of things that are discovered. There are a lot of people who are not being truthful. And Angie Dove has her radar on to find out uh, and help Detective Kyle Carter figure out who's lying and why. It's a really fun mystery, and I'm really excited for people to try to solve it on their own. I will be live tweeting the night of the premiere, which is Sunday night, uh, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock Central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. So I'll be live tweeting, and I'm excited to see who figures it out first. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a sneak peek, and I did not figure it out, but it's still a great mystery. I was pulled in the whole time. I'm but glad the other you big part of that's good. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. The other big part of these movies is, of course, the potential relationship between Angie and um, Detective Carter, yes. Victor Webster, who's awesome. Tell me, um, for fans that are kind of really hoping maybe this is the next step in their relationship, what, what will we see with their relationship in this one? So, yeah, this is the third movie. In the first one, Detective Kyle Carter did not want anything to do with Angie Duff. Maybe he thought she was cute, but it's like... Okay, you're, you're interfering with my investigation, get out. Uh, of course, by the end of it, Angie Dove does help him. And so he has to kind of admit that maybe she's useful. In the second one, you see some potential jealousy because my character has dinner with my ex-boyfriend and he comes in and interrupts it and probably has too much fun arresting my ex-boyfriend uh, potentially for, <laughs> for murder. And in this one, um, so after he arrested my ex-boyfriend, he actually interrupted our dessert. And so he tells me at the end of that movie, I owe you dessert. In this one, he actually makes good on that. And so when he asks Angie to go to dessert, you have to ask, like, I want the audience to tell me, do you think that's a date? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday works, eight o'clock. It's a date. Uh, I mean, not, not a, a date. date. It's just a dessert. Right. <laughs> I want you guys to tell me what you think. Is this a date? Like. Are they going to the next level? Do you think Angie, because she's such a good matchmaker, but she's also a very good detective in a lot of ways, are there things that kind of overlap? Are there things that may, that kind of can work in either world that makes her good in both fields? Yeah, reading people. Angie's good at reading body language. If somebody's shifting around in their seat in a certain way, they touch their face. You know, there's, there, actually, there are other books you can buy on this, on body language, which is what <laughs> people are telling you without realizing they're telling you. So she's very good at that, uh, at reading people and in fact, she even schools Victor on it at one point in the movie. All right, you guys, make sure to watch Matchmaker Mysteries, The Art of the Kill on April 18th on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Danica, yeah. thanks for your time. Thank you so much. See you guys at 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock Central. <laughs>